Hello and welcome to a Visual Basic tutorial with Hellfire 1997. Now today I am going to be showing you how to create a game of Space Invaders in Visual Basic 2010. Now to start off with just create a Windows Form application and you just get this. This is just your form, it's the window that pops up when you start your program. So if you were to, ju if you were to just start it, there's your form. Now, a good thing to do at start is to resize it. You can just select it and drag it. Or if you want to get specific sizes, you can just come on to the size properties down here and just type it in. There you go, that will be a good form. So just test out to make sure it's not too big for the screen and there you go. Now a good thing to do at start would be to rename your form to something rememberable like parent form as that what that's what your first form always is. It's the parent form of all your other forms but that I will talk about in a later video. Now another thing to do would be to change the text at the top of your form here from form 1 to something like Space invaders. There we go. Now, <coughs> there we go. So, if we were to change the background color of the form to something a bit more like space invaders, there we go. Black. Now, just go to your toolbox, get a label, drag it onto your screen, change the color of your text of your label your properties just to white now change the text of it this can be the title of our game so again just type in space invaders there we go now obviously we want that big uh, better font than that so just come scroll up to font press the button now visual basic comes with a range of fonts like microsoft word and so on so let's look for something that looks good. How about this? Just make it a bit bigger. There we go. That looks a bit more like space invaders. So just stick that somewhere at the top there as the title. Now obviously we want buttons to start and quit the game. So again go to your toolbox. Drag out a couple of buttons. Now again we can resize these, change the text, or change the name, so go to button 1, change the text to start game, button 2, change the text to quit, Oop, quit game. Now obviously again changing the font, make it look a little better. Um, you don't have to use the same font for everything, I just personally think it looks a little better. So, just make the button a bit bigger, do the same here, go for the same font, same text size, and again just, there we go. Now obviously this looks a little plain with big form and just a couple of buttons at a title so we just get some picture boxes and we can add pictures of our spaceship and our aliens. So press that. Now when you use a picture box there's two ways of inserting an image an image so you can go for local resource import go to your folder and select the image you want ok and there will be your image now obviously a lot of you will be thinking right that's obviously way too big and to be frank it is so all we've got to do there is go to size mode stretch image and that way it will change the size of the image to what the actual size of the picture box is. However, a better way of loading images if you want to use several images in one program will be to go to Project Resource File and then import the image. 
the advantage of this is if if you want a picture box to change the picture of your to change the image inside the picture box midway through the program you can use a little bit of code to change it change the image in the picture box if you were to just go to a local resource and do it it requires a lot more mess about with the code so just stick that down there bring up another image import this using out for invader this time again now with the size mode it normally just goes to normal which is the size of the image itself it's a bit of a pain in the backside but there you go so a good way of doing it is to stretch image and this way it will just make it the same size as your actual picture box so it just makes it a little bit easier to deal with so now we can start with the actual code of our buttons because if we run the program now and just press the buttons nothing's happening and that's because we haven't inserted the code for our buttons yet so if we just close that now we want to go into our code view so one way of doing that is just double clicking on the buttons and it will bring up the sub bring up the code view and here is where the code it will go to when that button is pressed so every time the cursor clicks on this button it will come to the sub subroutine and execute any of the code in here so we we'll bring up there as well right so you may be wondering why it says start game here yet called button one here now a mistake a lot of people make when it comes to these things is this is the text of the button not the name the name is up here so name button one so if we were to change that to like start game now the actual name of the button will be start name and there we go so we just wrong button because I am an idiot Right, now so obviously we want to have the code for our buttons. So, quick game, we want it to close the form. So all we've got to type in there is me.close. Now the reason for this is all the forms in Visual Basic refer to themselves as me. So if you want them um, to do anything, you do me.close rather than form1.close. A little bit annoying, but it's how it's done. So if we were to run the program now, press quick game, close it, works perfectly, we can go on now, not really. So now we want our start game button to work. Now of course we want it to hide these components first, otherwise these are just going to get in the way of our game. So again we go to form 1 and this time we type in Lab label one dot hide and it's telling me it doesn't exist because I probably spelled label wrong yes I did don't learn your spellings off me because I get them all wrong so now label one is our title so all this will do is when the this button is pressed it will come to subroutine execute this code and it hits label one dot hide, which basically tells it to hide the label. So if we were to test it now, press start game. There we go, hide the label. So all we want to do now is get to hide the rest of these components, so the buttons and our picture boxes. So we go back into code. <coughs> Don't want to do that. We do start game dot hide start game is the button which starts the which is this one ignore me I'm babbling um, we do two dot hide we do picture box one dot hide and picture box two dot hide now all that's going to do is it's just going to if we run the program 
it's just going to hide all these components so a picture box is the buttons and the tile so start game hides them all that's basically the easiest way of start doing a main menu getting the start game button to just hide all the components and show the hidden ones so now obviously we're going to want it to actually bring up the actual pictures of themselves of the invaders of our spaceship and everything now <coughs> there's actually an easier way of getting it to hide and show lots of components at once and that is if you go to your containers go to select a panel and we just make it cover the screen now what a panel does is basically a container so it's designed to hold lots of components at once if we go to visible false that means when the program loads this will the panel one will actually be hidden if we start obviously nothing's there so <coughs> this will actually contain our invaders our picture box for our uh, actual spaceship and that will be where the actual game is so if we were to go into our code and tell to do go back to subroutine that is the start game button we tell to do panel one dot show and all that does is change panel one from visible to invisible now obviously if we've just tried to run the program because there's nothing in it we wouldn't be able to tell if it's visible or not so if we just go on the toolbox and add a label just change the colour of the text and just change the text to it worked now when we run the program we shouldn't be able to see this label because it's in panel 1 which is hidden so if we run it there we go we can't see the label if we press that game it's hidden all the components and it's brought panel one with label one in it now that's the end of this video next time i will show you how to get your picture box just to show your <coughs> spaceship and your invaders this has been hellfire 1997 and goodbye